Hello Taurus, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading for April 2020. It'll be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it's going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Um, I really wanted to quickly send out some positive energy, a lot of love, light, and peace to those watching. I know these are very trying times and there's a lot of uncertainty, so just sending you a lot of positivity and love, and I hope that this video finds you well and healthy. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be pulling from these two oracle decks. I've already shuffled them off camera, so I'm just going to split the deck on camera. So let's see what we have for you guys in love. April 2020 for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Indecision. Okay, so someone could be at a crossroads here. Okay, what else do we have for Taurus, please? April 2020. and time for a nap. So um, this is pretty much kind of just letting go and letting the divine take over. So I am going to read that one, the time for a nap, just really quickly scan that, just in case there's any messages for those watching. Usually time for a nap for me could also be, I just think about it as someone dreaming about someone too. Um, that's just my, Interpretation. So rest, rejuvenation, renewal, temporary non-action, allowing dreams to rise. And then for relationship, don't make any plans right now when it comes to matters of the heart. If you're not partnered, it's good to get to take this time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This is going to be an uneventful moment in time. Don't force anything now. Allow things to flow naturally. And a beautiful renewal will take place all by itself. Patience is, patience is the key to your heart's desire right now. All right. So um, kind of I feel someone here with indecision because I have these two together. I feel like someone's trying to decide their plans. Um, almost like they're resting and really looking deep within to figure out, you know, what to do. There's no action here, but there's a lot of thought. There's hesitancy as well with indecision. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus, please, for April 2020 in regards to love? Messages for Taurus, please, Spirit, for love in April 2020. Messages for Taurus, please, in regards to love. What does Taurus need to know regarding love for April 2020? What does Taurus need to know? for April 2020. All right, guys. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, subscribed, or commented on the channel recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments, and they're mostly positive, so I'm very grateful. Okay, so whatever situation I talk about today, the situation could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future because time is fluid, and the roles can be reversed. So feel free to flip them if they resonate more with you. Okay, starting off with Seven of Cups. So again, dreaming, fantasizing, having options here, confusion for some of you as well, because I do have indecision. Some of you just might not know what to do. Maybe you don't have all the information. Maybe you are, whoa, Two of Cups. So this could be related to a partnership, a soulmate type of connection, someone that mirrors you. I'm going to take this one. Eight of Wands, okay. Communication, movement. There's a Two of Swords. I really do get that energy with indecision. Some of you are thinking about a partnership when it comes to this decision. You don't know what to do about a partnership. That's what I'm getting so far. Well, I'm going to clarify all of these, but that's what I see so far. There's communication or movement back and forth. Things are happening fast, and I feel like it's causing you to either be overwhelmed, confused, or unsure. What else for Taurus? 
for April 2020 in regards to love. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, an offer coming in. Very slow offer coming in. This might be the offer that's causing you to hesitate. Wow. And the sun. I feel like no matter what happens, you're going to be happy. So this is the spread that I've been trying for these monthlies. This is the recent past, current energies, and then the near future. But I am looking at the spread as a whole. So basically what I see, someone here is undecided, unsure about potential partnership. There's communication coming in, possibly an offer here. An offer that has taken a really long time to come to you. And I feel like there's now doubt or, or some sort of confusion or just someone that is unable to make up their mind there's too many ways to go about this possibly or there's two very different paths that this would lead you on so i feel like that's causing you to hesitate but i have the two of cups here this is a very strong union so let's see what we get when we clarify spirit help me clarify these messages for taurus please for april 2020 help me clarify please these messages for Taurus regarding love April 2020 please help me clarify these messages for Taurus regarding love April 2020 what messages do you have for Taurus all right let's start with the seven of cups I don't even get a chance to ask my question tell me about the seven of cups please what's the seven of cups about spirit for Taurus someone could also be fantasizing okay so I got the six of swords that just came out anything else five of swords and page of swords and ace of cups wow so This is what I'm getting. I'm getting, should I take this offer or should I go? Which is very interesting to me. For some reason, some of you are looking at this offer and you are not sure if you should take it or you should go. Possibly because of this Five of Swords energy, maybe there have been arguments in the past or just a lot of... Um, bad communication that's what i'm getting misunderstandings um a lot of fights lost um someone here has been watching though trying to get more information about something with the page of swords wanting to communicate something um but that's what i'm getting that's the energy i'm getting that someone here has been really thinking about possibly logically too, thinking about a an offer here with the ace of cups and wondering if they should accept it or just move on altogether and there's a lot of confusion about this and so that's why you're trying to kind of really think about things get more information communicate um to try to get an answer or trying to find that answer that you seek but for others of you, I'm also seeing that someone left a difficult situation and they did that because they were watching someone else and they want to make an offer to that person. This could be you or the person that you are dealing with. So I see a few scenarios here. So let's see what else we got. Tell me about the two of cups. this two of cups about what's this two of cups about so this is kind of a strong partnership here with the two of cups you mirror each other there is a strong connection here of some sort okay that was a lot but we'll go with it Starting off with the nine of wands. So maybe this is the relationship here where there's been a lot of possibly fighting or a lot of baggage, a lot of 
Someone's tired. Someone's tired. Someone's worn out. Someone is guarded. They've put up walls around their heart because of this. Nine of Swords, someone could be feeling guilty, stressed, anxious regarding this partnership. And then I have the Star and the Empress. So we have Sign of Aquarius here. Someone here is possibly wanting to heal this with the Star because they see you as an Empress energy. Someone doesn't want to give up hope that this could grow. Someone has faith that this could grow, but I feel like the other person doesn't, is not feeling the same way, or maybe they are not seeing something clearly or something like that. And I say that because both of these people are looking down, they're not looking up, so they can't see what's in front of them, what's behind them. They're kind of closed off here. So someone either is closed off to a truth or closed off to the potential of something, doesn't want to see something or can't. But with the Nine of Swords, I mean, this is someone that is very restless and anxious and stressed out, um, tired as well. And I feel like this needs to, you know, they either are trying to heal from this and become Empress energy or someone wants to heal this connection. Let's see what else we get. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. So there's communication. What kind of communication is happening here? Oh, okay. The moon. <laughs> Sign of Pisces. Okay. So that's interesting. Anything else? I, I see confusion with the moon. I see doubts, fears, um, the unknown. Something's not what it seems with the moon. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands, please. This communication might not... Okay. I keep getting a ton of cards with these, but okay, we're just going to go with it. Wow, Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups here with the Five of Wands. Again, I'm getting a, a family dynamic or some sort of partnership that's not doing very well. Um, there's arguing and fighting within this connection. There's drama within this unit. Then I have strength in the moon. So sign of Leo, sign of Pisces here. Um, I feel like with the... Okay, so this is clarifying the eight of wands, which to me is communication and movement. So... I feel like with these two cards here, someone is needing courage to communicate something that they've kept hidden. They need strength to communicate something that has not been revealed. Something's going to get revealed with this communication. It's either going to be re a, a re some sort of reveal of a secret or something that's going to be surprising and it's going to cause like confusion and and just there's going to be a lot of doubt as well someone is 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 finally seeing something for what it is and communicating that as well and i feel like it has to do with all of this drama or fighting that's been happening all of these disagreements that have been happening here I feel like this is a barrier to a happy connection that a connection that otherwise would be happy is not happy. Tell me about tell me about the two of swords. I feel like someone might be wanting to heal this connection. But I don't know if the other person. Yeah. I, don't, I just got the ten of wands. So Someone is burdened in this connection. Um, someone has had clarity about a burden here or wants to cut out something that is a burden to them with the Ace of Swords. I feel like there's someone else here that's pan that's like giving like a passionate message, a passionate plea. Almost like there's... You know, this person could also be thinking like, I need to just let this go so that I can go after something else that inspires me, that I'm passionate about, that fulfills me with the Page of Wands. 
But someone here, I feel like they want to cut out this burden or they don't know what to do with this weight that they feel. Should I set this weight down? Should I continue? Um, what should I do? You know, I do feel that. And this Ace of Swords, just this new clarity, this person is aware of what's happening. I feel like this burden is so heavy, you can't ignore it. So let's see. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. This is someone coming in with an offer of some sort. Okay, Three of Cups. Someone wanting to reunite, celebrate here. Uh, possibly a proposal of some sort. Um, they want to make you a stable offer. Something possibly like financial as well it could be that they're providing for you financially um they want to come together um they want to be a happy family or a happy unit tell me more so i have the knight of swords and the hangman interesting knight of swords with the knight of pentacles completely opposing energies i feel like this person goes back and forth about you know i should come i should be stable and grounded when I make this offer and I need to communicate like I need to let them know you know like they go back and forth with that as well here um there could be some news coming in from someone completely uh different to this person this knight of pentacles could be an earth sign you're dealing with here Taurus Virgo Capricorn doesn't have to be but um or an air sign but this could be someone completely different communicating something maybe gossip here or some sort of information about a, a unit of some sort like a, a networking at work or co-workers or family or friends etc there could be news about this here about a third party as well um but this is information here and I feel like when, when whenever this comes in there's someone that's going to be kind of like hesitating in limbo, not moving, not knowing what to do with this information. Um, this could also be someone getting clarity about a situation as well, and it's causing them to make an offer. But at the bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Cups. Someone's still considering other options. Someone's still thinking, I don't have to accept this offer. I can just go and, and find my own offer. But I do feel like these are two very opposing energies, possibly two different people. Or just communication coming out from like an outside source. Again, I do feel like this knight wants to make things right with this pentacle. So tell me about the sun. What's going to make you happy, Taurus? Tell me about the sun. The outcome here is happiness. Something that makes you happy. Some of you could have children sign of leo here so i have leo that showed up twice knight of pentacles again so some of you might be open to this offer anything else for this night um for the sun sorry spirit tell me more about this sun now this this drama down here this could be the other person but it could also be you your current situation so let's see, what else can you tell me about the sun for Taurus? The world, the world. So interesting. So some of you, this offer is gonna set you on a new cycle, a new chapter in your partnership, a new chapter in your life. Tell me more about the world, why the world? So some of you are going to be very open to this night bringing this offer of stability and security. Could be finances. Oh my gosh, I keep getting the six of cups in these readings. I don't know why. But um, the world, a new chapter. 
So this could be someone that you have been with for a long time or someone that you know from the past or just someone that you feel a really deep connection with. This offer could be from someone who has possibly communicated that all this time they felt this way about you and you never expected it because of whatever issues you guys had. Maybe deep down they always felt a certain way but they were never able to communicate that and now they are they can't hold on to this burden anymore of not communicating for others of you this is this is someone that you are already in a connection with and they want a new cycle for you for your relationship more stability for your relationship and this is a new cycle for you but there's still some of you that are indecided about taking this offer maybe you've realized that this person might not be the one for you you're not sure if that's who you want to spend the rest of your life with. You're not sure if this is something that's going to work out within the next few months or so. And so you don't kind of, you, it's, I almost get the sense you don't want to invest in something anymore that you know is not headed anywhere. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be thinking really hard about this offer. It's like maybe this person makes you happy, but you're also thinking about stability, right? You're also thinking about having a peaceful life that's what i'm getting others of you are really going to be happy with this knight of pentacles offer there could be two offers here too because i have an ace of cups here this probably happened in the past as ace of cups and it was really nice in the beginning and then it kind of like derailed over time or um this is somebody that has a lot of love for you but again maybe they're just not the right person that's just for some of you, but I do, I am feeling it, so I want to communicate it. Others of you are going to be, you know, this is someone that you have a lot of memories with, and so you're willing to give them a chance to, to open a new cycle here. So I want to look at what this person feels about you, about the connection, what their intentions are, this Knight of Pentacles. I also want to clarify this Knight of Swords, and I'm going to do all that in the extended, kind of see where this is headed. So if you're interested in that, then the link to the description box, the link will be in the description box below. Otherwise, thank you so much, Taurus, for spending time with me. I hope this reading resonated with you. Please like or subscribe if you enjoy my readings and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Again, I send you a lot of love and peace and serenity during these difficult times. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you back here with another video. Take care.